we can break down double poling into a couple of different phases. The first phase is the propulsion phase. That's the phase in which you impart power to your poles. The second part of double poling is the recovery phase, and that's the surge forward. And it's often the most neglected part of double poling. More people concentrate on the propulsion downward and out the back. And the cost of that is the propulsion forward. In order to synchronize your upper propulsion of your arms with your upper body, it's important to maintain a snug grip on the handle and don't actually release it. By maintaining that grip on the handle, it shortens the push so that you can synchronize the recovery. Push down, maintain that grip, and spring forward and synchronize your arms and your upper body. Another important thing to keep in mind when you're double poling is to move your hips and your upper body together. Too often, People push down, and on the recovery phase, they don't get their hips forward, and they're keeping their rear end too far back. A lot of people think that lifting your heels is what propels you forward. Lifting your heels is simply a byproduct of getting your weight forward. Think of it this way. Lean forward, and your hips and heels come up. It's not a jump up. It's a lean forward and your heels come up. Lean forward, shifting your hips and center of gravity onto your toes so that your heels can actually lift. All your body weight is now on your poles for the power phase. So I hope I've given you a few things that you can work on to improve your double polling technique. I certainly still have a ways to go to improve mine. So go out there and have a great ski. Okay, let's go.